The Surface Book 3, with its maximum specifications, it can give you this amount of score. But this laptop right here, with the one with only 1,000 euro budget, it can give you as much as a Surface Book 3 with much less price. Now, what do you kind of sacrifice with that price? I'll tell you, the build quality, build quality is not that great. Um, it feels like plastic, um, but it does not look like plastic. Definitely this does not look like plastic, especially the cover of the laptop. It does not feel that much plastic. Now you might ask, what is this? Does it come with it? No, it's, it's a special thing I bought myself because I was personally looking for a laptop that could perform uh, great with Photoshop to do my own art. So now we're gonna go to that in another video or later on. Um, let's see, uh, what you sacrifice is, um, of course, the screen itself um, is that you 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 sure can turn this laptop around and use it like a, the Microsoft book without even turning the without even the need to uh, detach the screen. It's um, you can see from the sides and also from down and up, but the color accuracy is just not that good on this laptop. Now I'm an artist. Why did I choose this laptop? Uh, for me, uh, certain color accuracy, uh, accuracy is, is fine. It works for me, especially that it hurts my eyes with an IPS panel. That is great. How is this laptop good if you're an artist? I would say if you edit videos uh, every now and then, the 8 cores will be very helpful. If you make animations, After Effects animations, it will be great to render on it. If you make uh, Photoshop drawings, sketches, perfectly fine. Um, I really enjoyed the laptop because I did not have to disable the graphic card on the uh, on Photoshop, which is uh, why graphic cards are there. Uh, and I like to enable them because I like to touch the screen and navigate with my hands. Now, for gamers, if you are a gamer, this is not the laptop for you, especially if you are a hardcore gamer that only plays AAA games. The graphics, the graphic card can play uh, games in the late 2011, uh, 2012, 13, it can play it very much fine. Uh, special GTA V, you can play it on around 30 FPS, you, but you will see drop downs and the fan can can heat up very uh, much, but you cannot hear it that much, especially if there's not much of a workload. So I won't say the fan is noisy, at least not for me. Um, but it can heat up a little bit. You can feel it right here on those, uh, on this section, especially on this section. But on the screen, there's nothing. So compared to the other um, uh, alternatives out there, like the Surface Pro or the Surface Book, which are much more expensive than this laptop, the screen will get heated, and then you, your drawing experience will be just uh, out of out of the window. Um, so yeah. Uh, I don't. I, I really enjoyed this laptop, and I would recommend it to every artist. And uh, not, I would say I would not say uh, heavy gamers, but uh, if you enjoy every now and then a game of uh, Rayman when you're on the road uh, with your girlfriend, or like I do myself, or you want to play indie games, uh, or you're you want to share a, a nice uh, friendly game in CS:GO or uh, Rocket League, you would enjoy it on the road. Um, this is a great pick for you, especially for the price. Um, it's not that much of a heavy laptop like the gaming laptops uh, I used to have in the past. Uh, yeah, for the ports, you have a charging port, an HDMI, a USB-C, but it doesn't have a display port. You can charge, you, I'm not sure if you can charge from it, but uh, you can definitely take data from it. There's an um, audio jack and two USB hubs. Um, I believe they are USB 3 and uh, an SD card, especially for me for editing video. This is a very perfect thing to have. Um, in general, the battery life is um, decent, I would say. Uh, I pretty much enjoy the four hours. I don't need any, any anything more than that. Um, I don't know how much um, watt per hour does it have, but uh, you can look that up or I'll show it on the screen. Um, yeah, uh, I had one problem with this laptop and it was the audio. It would stutter uh, when I play music or like when I play music and I open the browser, it would go into a stutter mode, but I had that fixed. 
by just downloading the um, the, the drivers for the audio and the audio jack, the Realtek uh, audio uh, drivers, the latest one. And uh, you can find them uh, on Lenovo website by just searching your uh, serial number of the laptop. Pretty easy uh, stuff. And I got this fixed. And I'm pretty, pretty much happy with the laptop so far. Anyway, my name is Jack Goodman and I do reviews for artists, especially for gadgets like this. Um, subscribe if you like the video, if you found it uh, informative. And um, yeah, as always, guys, stay honest. See you on the next one.